You've been solving the problems around the world. In Ghana, we have a perennial problem of flooding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> have you thought about it? What do you propose? Yes. If you had a chance. Yes, to? yes, yes. I mean, flooding is is actually not a difficult thing to solve. It's to do with water tables. It's to do with you know stormwater management. It's actually to do with master planning. Mm -hmm. I think that the problem of Accra is that the the city has grown iteratively what okay. i mean by that it's grown bit by bit okay. and by ed all individuals doing their own little bit okay. and not as a big vision mm. and you need the big vision the city is like an organism okay it's uh you need to have all the parts working together mm. for it to work and right now people build their own little bit they don't build the the stormwater connection or people throw things dump things into the stormwater mm. lines mm. and then it blocks up the roads we have to be model citizens and care about the infrastructure okay. that we all share, mm. but also then the, the local authorities need to make sure that this infrastructure is kept well and is maintained. But it's a two-way street. Well, it's that, not that just mean, them and it's not that, just that us. Would, that would mean that people would lose their homes. Uh, some, some, some areas need where, to go down. Yes, I think that's where people have built where water lines are. Mm. I mean, I, I understand the responsibility of, and, the, and the desire to have homes, but if you build on a water line which supports an entire community mm. upstream, mm. it is not fair. And you should actually clear your way to allow the communities mm. to to um, have proper sanitation and proper drainage. Okay. And you should build in areas where there is not going to be that issue. Mm. And um, I think that that's the problem when people build um, sort of shanty, sort of build ad hoc. Mm. And I understand their desire to do that. Mm. But if you don't plan the city, you get these problems. Flooding occurs, then we get disease, mm. and we get all these problems, which actually then also destroys the roads. Okay. Water goes underneath the tarmac, it makes potholes. Mm. All these problems occur right. if we don't have a kind of joined up, sustainable, mm. you know, mass a planned city and I think that that's what we're trying to do with all the work that we're now doing in Ghana. Where do we begin? Where do we be begin mm -hmm. with actually making smart cities, empowering um, our, our cities to be smart in the sense of understanding infrastructure to the built environment is one thing, okay. planning that, mm -hmm. making sure we stick to the plans mm -hmm. and we build what we say mm -hmm. and making sure that the developers and all the people coming together follow the rule of the law okay. in these things and then to make sure that we have maintenance of these infrastructures. Right. Then it will work well. I mean, for instance, what we're trying to do on Marine Drive mm -hmm. is to master plan a new public infrastructure, a new smart city mm -hmm. that will reinforce the original downtown of Ghana, mm -hmm. but really turn it into a 21st century model, the likes of which you can see in Singapore, Shanghai, right. New York. Really, mm -hmm. we're trying to build that level of building okay. in our downtown Accra. 